Well, hello, welcome to January 18th. I hope you are doing awesome. Um, just to let you know, I've done a couple of readings that you might want to check out. The spiritual energy reading, the weekly uh, energy reading, I did that yesterday and posted that. I also did one called Ask Spirit, a cool little... Um, a cool little reading. I think I'm going to continue to do this. This really comes from questions you guys are asking me. So I'll do these on Sundays, um, ask spirit a specific question. And it was coming from someone who asked, should I take action or should I sit back? All right. So those are on the channel. You might want to check those out. If you're new to the channel and you like my content, please like, subscribe, and share. This Friday, I'm going to be doing um, the live at noon and it's going to be uh, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag, you guys are up front, okay, for that reading, and it's, uh, you know, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, and all cross watchers are welcome, so if you're dealing with a Sag, Aries, or Leo, you are definitely involved, all right, so let's see where we go today, this is morning message for you, what messages want to come through this morning, no matter what time of day you're seeing this, <laughs> All right, let's see where we go. Let's see where we go. We got a ton of people in Australia and New Zealand. Hey, 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 hey. All right, chaos and conflict. Flexible. Time to go. All right, we're moving into Aquarius season. We're moving out of Capricorn season where this um, energy of learning our lessons and doing the work of things. We're now moving into a time of innovation and um, definitely in alignment with the uh, age of Aquarius, but this is, you know, Aquarius season happening at the end of January into February. So if we've had a lot of um, chaos and conflict going on in our lives, I think we're learning to balance things, but some of us are like, some of you, some of us, I'll include myself, some of us are being like, you know what, I don't really need to twist myself into a pretzel to deal with this energy. I'm just going to go. It's just time to leave it behind. This energy is not helpful to me. It's not, um, um, expansive. It's not, it's not in keeping with the Aquarian energy that I'm, cultivating right now. I'm cultivating what what can I do in my life that's different or how can I innovate what I'm doing right now? How can I expand on what I'm doing? And I think there was a lot of that kind of mired in, no offense to Capricorn, but kind of like in that space of like um, feeling a little stuck in the mud, okay? Like everything everything in balance, right? So if, if you're feeling that Capricorn energy was really good and grounded for you. Like, hey, finally I'm able to like make things happen because I'm doing the work of it. Awesome. If you were feeling stuck in the mud, now moving into the Aquarius energy might make you feel more um, inspired, might make you feel, and we have that Uranus um, Mars conjunction this week. So the fiery energy of that with Mars about like taking action. So this says to me that I'm done dealing with this person's bullshit or I'm done dealing with this. I don't have to twist myself up into a pretzel anymore for this nonsense. I am going to, I can actively walk away if I want to. Run away, run away. <laughs> so I haven't used this deck in a while. Let me use this deck. This is the Mystic Mondays deck. How appropriate. How appropriate for Monday. Let's see where we go here. I've also balanced out my... Um, Dreaming Way deck decks. I had them all messed up for a while, so they're everything is cleared as it should be, um, as it should be. Okay, so let's see here. I'll be using that deck too. Okay, Five of Pentacles underneath, feeling like an outsider a little bit. There's the death energy of transmuting that into something more satisfying right? Feeling out in the cold, feeling like I've had to really, you know, it was an acrobatic kind of thing to get me to agree with this person or feel like this was good for me. I really had to twist myself up. So seven of swords, we'll just lay this all out and then I'll talk about it. Seven of swords, 10 of pentacles, hierophant, tower, King of Wands, beautiful energy there. Ace of Swords, ooh, I like that. Hanged Man, there's more acrobatics. Seven of Pentacles, Hermit. 
All right, so I see before, um, I see Virgo and Taurus here, not Capricorn. I see Virgo, Taurus, Scorpio, and then I see the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag. So I will do that. Before I get into the rest of the reading, I'll make sure to pull cards around those signs, okay? Um, it feels like somebody lied to you either from your family or for your up from your upbringing okay you were lied to about what was what you had to deal with in relationships or in your work or anything like that it was like this is normal it's totally normal for you to have to like bend yourself into a pretzel to keep this job uh, or you know your whole integrity just gets completely shattered every time you deal with this person um, and that's an upbringing thing. It feels like it's coming from family that you're the, the, the thing that's breaking through here is your own personal power. You don't have to do that shtick. Okay. There's no reason this person may have lied to you or a family member or an upbringing issue. There's something here about that too. So, those things that we relied to as children generally show up again in relationships. Now it's time for you to go, aha, I see it. You just thought it was normal. You know, maybe you were told that your way of doing things was, well, I don't know, a little bit wrong or a little bit not in the mainstream or not something that other people would ever understand. So let's keep that to ourselves. Like when I was talking to Nana after she passed away. Let's keep that to ourselves. <laughs> right? And I was just like, well, I think it's like the most normal thing. But then I was, it was like a shame kind of thing. And I feel like this is a little bit of a shame thing too. Like how you do things in life and how you want to create relationship may have been shamed. You know, may have been shamed. So take a look at what made you feel out in the cold as a child. You're transmuting that energy to something way better for yourself okay um so i feel like now from the five of pentacles whatever made you feel out in the cold now you're embracing that you might have left your inner child out in the cold because you're like oh yeah that's a part of me that isn't acceptable that's something that's not acceptable and what's happening here this tower this realization this is one of the few times that i really love to see the tower it's when you're stepping into your power because you get this Aquarian insight, this um, clear air sign insight into, oh, somebody made me feel that way because they didn't like that about me, not because it wasn't good or had integrity or anything like that. They didn't like that. It wasn't like them. So it made you feel bad. So now you're getting this realization. This truth is coming blasting through. Okay, and so that means you can move forward under your own steam here. King of Wands, uh, I'm not King of Wands. Yeah, King of Wands, King of Wands. You can be inspired to move forward. Um, I feel like there's Taurus energy here about commitments. This might not, this might have shown up in a, a marriage that went bad or that, that ended. So if you, um, this might not be just happening right now. Okay, but it might be, all right, if you're, if you're in a situation where you're ending a marriage or you're moving out of a relationship, I think you want to really take a look at what were the things you expected and why didn't it happen? Were there, was there any abuse? Was there you being told that what you liked or wanted or how you did things wasn't, wasn't good or kosher or something like that? Um, it's time to really dive deep on that. It really is. Hanged Man, Seven of Pentacles, and Hermit Energy is about taking some time to understand yourself a lot better and not just take for granted or believe what your parents told you or your brother or sister told you as you were growing up about yourself uh, because it has played havoc with your personal power, how you are in relationship. It has caused you to twist yourself up into a pretzel for other people. That's codependency. Like you're trying to make everybody else happy. And now it's time for you to step into that power. 
So I'm going to look at here. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a fire sign. So, or you could be these energies too. Okay. So if you're a Scorpio or you're dealing with a Scorpio, Ten of Pentacles jumped out. Ten of Pentacles, Chariot, Knight of Pentacles. Um, slow this down. Uh, I, I feel like you're, you could be moving too fast. All right. If you're dealing with a Scorpio or you are a Scorpio, I feel like you could be moving too fast. Okay. These two. And in, by doing that, you're really losing the journey of the falling in love. All right. So you also might need to st stand up for yourself. This person, if this Scorpio is making you feel bad about who you are, then it's a lesson for you to stand up for yourself. If you're, moving too fast and you're not really um, experiencing the beautiful unfoldment of love, then you need to slow the hell down. Okay. Yeah. And it's about better give and take, better balance and give and take. So that can be for everybody, but definitely for Scorpio or if you're a Scorpio, if you're a Taurus or you're dealing with a Taurus, temperance, let me move over here. Temperance, star what's underneath here Ooh, king of pentacles so if you're dealing with a taurus um balancing the energies of money and love balancing the energies of material life versus spiritual life there's a there's a need to balance and it, and it twists it it turns on the um the lie that was told to you by family or you um, you are somehow um, healing from that lie and that's creating balance for you five of wands ace of pentacles star and ace of pentacles so you're having some new beginning because this is like it's almost like you've come as far as you can Taurus if you're Taurus it's come, it's like you've come as far as you can and now you're running afoul of other people and it's like why am I why am I having all these conflicts with people well because you're healing and you're moving out of a stuck position or a codependent position, one that you have always been twisting yourself into pretzels to, you know, have other people be happy about. All right. All right. If you're a Virgo, if you're a Virgo, nine of swords, seven of cups, three of cups, and two of pentacles. If you're a Virgo, this is a, um, you come in, a come to Jesus about a third party situation. I feel like you might, um, you might see that the old relationship was out of balance because either of the third party or you need another third party to balance you or something like that, Virgo. Four of Pentacles and Moon. Illusions. Virgo, there's a lot of illusions that need to be upended for you. Okay, I feel like you might be, um, very, it's very internal process. You're also afraid of it. Nine of Swords and Moon. You're also afraid of that internal process. What if What if I see the truth? Um, what if I see the truth about myself and it's me? What if I am the one that pro that's the problem? Okay. I, I do feel like there's, the, it's not you that's the problem, but there might be some behavior if there was third parties going on that you might want to look at more closely. That was the problem. And it was like, why do I need another party? Why do I need another person to feel... Um, balanced in relationships. I feel like I'm not enough or I feel like I'm not like uh, if somebody figures out that I'm not good enough, they'll leave me. So I need two people all the time. Something like that. Aries Leo Sag. Okay. Learning something new. Aries Leo Sag. If you're dealing with a fire sign or you are a fire sign. Okay. Ace of Swords. Again. Seven of Pentacles. Again. King of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. Seeing clearly what you need in relationship is not a problem. You've been dealing with people who don't like that you have needs, wants, desires, uh, eat, etc. Oh, I'm sorry that I'm a human being. I'm really sorry about that. But that's exactly what you're being inspired to realize about yourself. And you can see your future more clearly when you understand that. It's okay to have needs, wants, and desires. In fact, it's freaking normal. So if you were told as a kid, like, "Ooh, you're too, you take up too much space. You're, you, you know, you have too many needs," or you just feel intuitively that people are like, Ugh, "Whenever you need something, 
It causes people to shut up. Okay, so this is something to really take a look at now. Time to go from that. All right, so where are you going here? You're moving into your truth. You're seeing some things for yourself, really going deep about, you know, oh, I get it. That was something that was unhealthy. So what are the blocks that need to be overcome for you? The blocks here. Judgment, Page of Swords, Chariot. Other people's nonsense. Other people deciding what I just said, that your feelings aren't don't matter, that your needs, wants, and desires are oh, annoying. Okay? And I feel like... Um, you can overcome this by understanding that those things are normal. And that person or persons, whoever you were dealing with, uh, was somebody who um, was very selfish, maybe narcissistic. Okay, so Two of Pentacles, Queen of, Pe Queen of Cups, <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. I almost said Queen of Pentacles, and here she is. Okay, so it's, it's marrying yourself your feelings, your heart's desire with uh, your material needs or th something along those lines, you're deciding that all of these things are fine, okay to have. You don't need to get anyone's permission. If someone feels like you, they, you have to um, change yourself or you feel that way, that you're tiptoeing around someone or something like that, that's very codependent, also probably narcissistic. They probably have a narcissistic personality or tendencies. I think you're being inspired to move on from this. Virgo, Page of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. You could be, um, this Virgo energy is very loud here. Learning something new about yourself that brings in love, okay? So Virgo is about also, it's not just about details and about... Um, you know, uh, being very focused on, on uh, well, details, okay. Being very focused on um, how things move forward step by step. Uh, Virgo is also about your health and well-being. And I feel like this kind of introspection is going to be very healthy for you. So is there a new person here? Or is this, is this, let me ask about the King of Wands here. The King of Wands here, Three of Cups. Ten of Pentacles, Six of Swords, King of Pentacles. Five of Swords, Ace of Wands, Fool. There's a new opportunity here. The reason why this is happening is you're moving away from, you're being inspired to live your truth here. Okay? And I do feel like you could, you could come upon a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Okay? And if they pull this kind of nonsense on you, you know exactly what to do, okay? So there might be someone coming across your path that explodes this myth that your needs, wants, and desires are, um, you know, you're taking up too much space kind of thing. It, this person's exploding that for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much. Let's see where we go here. Um, Charlie Scrumptious, your Charlie, Charlie Scrumptious. Let's see where we go. Tower, again, okay? Ace of Wands, Page of Wands, Ten of Wands. Really being inspired to put down this old burden. Ten of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. This is family stuff from, be from childhood. You may feel like you're not worthy of love. Okay, and that whole myth is getting exploded for you. Being inspired by the introspection, this person, um, this person is here to re reflect to you that all of that nonsense isn't true, and you finally get it. You finally realize it. Um, so they're coming across your path. Let me ask about timing here. Tower is usually right now. Okay, when tower shows up in, you take my tarot class, you know that. Ten of Cups, another ten. Five of Pentacles in reverse, Ace of Swords. This is a this is definitely about knowing your worth and value. 
that you are available to love. Ten of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. The one that's missing is Ten of Swords. Okay, and you got the Ace of Swords. You don't have to go through this anymore. You don't have to um, go through a Ten of Swords experience. The Five of Pentacles showing up here, now it's in reverse. So you are worthy and valuable. You know that now, and now you can have a relationship that is meaningful. And even if those kind of people come across your path, you're going to see them much more clearly. Thank you. You're going to see them much more clearly. Ace of Swords. Okay, so Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, very masculine energy here. Soulmate, getting to know each other, deception, letting go of control issues. Okay, so some of the stuff that you were raised with, some of these belief systems, you're lying to yourself here about it. They lied to you about your worth and value. Now you got, it's... It's tied up with control, how you control a relationship. You may date someone who is, you know, keeping you in that mindset of not worthy of love. Um, they could be controlling and narcissistic and they're, you know, there's third parties, there's all kinds of other stuff going on. But this person is a soulmate and reflecting back to you those lessons. Admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly. It's time to leave this unhealthy situation. You're on the right path. Romance angels are helping you. So this is a bit of like your time to go, right? Time to go. It's time to leave this unhealthy situation. You know, you're, you've created this with, or your, you know, your path has created this belief system around not being worthy, not being ready for love or that your needs, wants, and desires are annoying. And guess what? That is what a toxic relationship reflects to you, is that you don't matter. Well, guess what? You're exploding that myth. You're exploding that myth. Good job. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Have a good day or have a good evening, whichever, whichever applies.